Good morning, Beach Bums. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm trying out a brand new spot. I'm doing some wade fishing. Got the frog togs on this morning. I already got a head start on you this morning. Of course, I usually get started as the sun's coming up so you can't see, so I don't film these intros. But stick around. There is something I want to talk to you about. But before that, let's get to fishing. That was a giant fish. I'm guessing that was a huge red. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he didn't touch the lure. He just came up and swirled on it. Woo. That'll get your blood pumping. I'm wading in these grass flats. There's a ton of grass and so I'm getting hung up with my voodoo shrimp. So I've changed over. I've got the matrix shad and I've got this rigged on a fish bites weighted worm hook that you can rig up weedless. It's got the little screwdriver deal that you can screw the bait onto here. And then you can put the hook point through and actually cover that hook point so that you can go through those weeds and not get hung up and not catch a bunch of weeds. So I brought that with me today, but fish bites does sell these weighted worm hooks. You can pick those up on their website. There we go. Oh, okay. Fish on, I think. This is a uh, a uh, weedless hook, so I, man, he hit it quick. Oh, stay pinned. I hope I got a good enough hook set because that hook is buried in the lure. This is on the matrix shad. I saw something pushing bait. I think it's a red think I saw something pushing bait so I started I stopped and started casting I think it's gonna be a red oh yeah whoo all the flats oh stellar come here Woo. my heart's pumping Got my drag set pretty tight because I was ready to make a good hook set or try to anyway. Look at that redfish. Oh wow. Nice, nice red. Upper slot. Whew. Oh, he saw me. He didn't like that. He did not like that. I hope you're hooked good, buddy. Wow, what a strong fish. What a strong fish. Oh. I need to buy, invest in a, in a net. There we go. Woo, what a beautiful red on the matrix shad. Wow, beautiful fish. My goodness, I love, I love that. That's so cool on the flats out here. Dang, I'm so stoked. One more look at the other side. Beautiful fish. I, I've been grinding it out this morning. It's been tough. We're gonna talk about that here in a second, but let's get you back. Thank you, Mr. Redfish. You have saved my morning. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh man, how freaking sweet is that? On the flats, <sighs> I feel so much better. I missed one earlier this morning on top, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to go back and look at that, but I'm pretty sure that Redfish hit that 
on the drop from that cast, it, it happened pretty fast. What made me stop and cast is I saw some bait getting pushed around. I was real nervous with that hook set because since I do have this rigged weedless, I knew that I needed to make sure I drive that hook point in there. And I, I did not feel like I gave it a good, a good tug there because I feel like, I think it hit as soon as it hit the water and dropped down, I must've thrown it right on that fish's head. New spot, caught a nice fish. Not gonna complain about that, but otherwise pretty dang slow morning. But I do have something that I wanna talk to my subscribers about, you loyal, faithful followers that uh, watch all my videos, that have kept up with me for a while, that support the channel. Just wanna have a conversation with you. If you don't subscribe, go ahead and click that button. Just all you gotta do, man. We post a lot of surf fishing videos, land-based fishing videos. We do a lot of fishing around here. So if you like fishing, just click the button. It'll be worth it. But I'll see you inside. 2020, man, what, what a year. I haven't taken a moment just to sit back and talk to you guys that follow this channel, that are loyal subscribers. I haven't done that in a while. Brant Peacher, he's taken that opportunity here recently and it reminded me, you know what? I've just been so focused on getting fishing content. I haven't taken a moment to just talk to you guys, which I know some of you are like, Matthew, that's lame. We don't care. That's good. I get it. You can totally click off. <laughs> you don't have to watch this. First, let me just say thank you. I don't say that enough, honestly. I, I don't ever come on here and just thank you guys so much for your support. Watching videos, commenting on videos, liking videos, sharing videos, sharing it with your friends. You, you guys are amazing. Like the opportunities that I have and how my life has changed over the years doing this is because of you. Thank you so much. I am really appreciative of all of your support genuinely for my family and myself. I'm so blessed to have the opportunity that I have to come and fish for a living. It's awesome. It's pretty amazing. And that's because of you. So the last two days have been a struggle for me fishing. And it made me think about what I wanted to address in this video and talking to you guys about what this channel is and what this channel is about. I had a lot of time to reflect because I wasn't catching a lot of fish these last two days. So I've just been thinking, um, I spent yesterday and today fishing to make a video just to give you a little synopsis of like what I've gone through the last couple of days trying to make one video. I fished yesterday morning and afternoon. I surf fished and I spent uh, cumulatively probably about seven hours fishing, maybe between the morning and afternoon. And I used ghost shrimp. I fished two different locations. I fished three sets, set rigs, and all I put ghost shrimp on all of them. If you're familiar, you know that ghost shrimp is like the number one bait. Like it's cheating. Like if you're not getting bit on ghost shrimp, the fish ain't there. <laughs> and I fished hard in the surf for about seven hours yesterday trying to make a video, did not get a bite. Like, not a nibble, not a croaker, not a whiting, not a, nothing. Like, I was shocked, nothing, for seven hours. So I decided that night, that evening, I would try to go flounder gigging. Think, all right, first flounder of the night in this deep pocket. He is teeny tiny. Let's scare him right here. Well, there we go. But hey, target species it's a little dingy i don't i am shocked i saw that guy but i started slowing down because it got really deep right here so i figured there was probably some around you got another small guy second flounder of the night that one there he goes is also teeny tiny he's still there oh there he goes <laughs> well that's that's two flounder, but they both were about the same size and they both were teeny tiny. Two tiny flounder, that's it. I, I spent about three hours meandering around looking for flounder and saw two tiny little flounder, that was it. So I spent a lot of time yesterday between traveling, repacking the car for surf fishing versus floundering, like, and also of course the time that I spent doing it and did not come up with a video, which that happens, like that's that's part of it. There are areas that I know are holding fish 
and certain species of fish. But I've already filmed videos with that opportunity. Like I've already taken advantage of that. Some of those like sheep's head video I've got coming out you haven't seen. Um, a trout video recently like that, that I posted. A topwater trout like you know, like th those are things that I could probably go and like I know, hey, sheep's head are biting. Like I can go film a sheep's head video or like I know where some trout are. But trying to stay diverse in not only species but locations and how we approach things makes this a struggle. Like you're going to see me struggle and I, and I post that and it's not always hammering fish. It's seeing my process. It's documenting that, that adventure. You know, I'm really trying to be diverse, land-based, and really I'm winging it in most cases. <laughs> and that that's where it kind of brings us to, like, this is, this is an entertainment channel. And there's really two ways that you can go about on YouTube. I mean, of course, you want to be a marriage of the two in some way, shape, or form, but you've got entertainment and you have information. You can be an informational channel. You can be an entertainment channel. Of course, there's information that I'm going to provide to you in this channel, but I don't, I don't know a lot of stuff. Like I'm learning a lot of things. Like when I travel, like traveling to Cabo, you saw some of those videos. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just winging it, trying to figure it out. It's not like I'm going down there saying, hey, this is how you need to fish in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. I've never done that. <laughs> so it's just the documentation of my adventure going down there and trying to catch fish, whether I'm really all that successful or not. Same thing when I went to South Florida fishing for snook. This is not a channel where you're going to come and learn how to catch snook, but I'm documenting that process and documenting that adventure of me going down there, winging it, not, not using a guide, using what little bit of knowledge about fishing that I have, going to an area that I've never been and just throwing myself in that area and trying to catch a snook. I was unsuccessful, but I documented that experience, you know, like, so that's part of it. Same thing, even locally, like I may target fish that I've never caught before, like cobia you know like that's the goal of mine you know next year i want to try to catch cobia not only that like i would love to be able to have an opportunity to do that from the beach so i've got ideas and plans to do that this isn't a channel where you're going to come to and be like hey i want to learn how to catch cobia from the beach you may learn that in the process if it if i am successful and i am able to figure it out but really it's about the documentation of that process and the entertainment that that comes with the adventure aspect of me out here fishing trying to figure stuff out of course, there are things that I am what better versed on and know more about, like surf fishing, pompano fishing, but I'm not going to produce those videos all the time. Like that would get really boring if I sit here and post a hundred pompano surf fishing videos every year. That's just not going to happen. It's kind of evolved into that because I don't, I, I honestly don't have a lot of information to give you. So <laughs> this can't really be an informational channel because I'm kind of limited on that. So I'd rather just have fun and document my experiences and with that comes some struggle by trying to be diverse and trying to document so goals for the future like where's the channel headed uh, next year and and beyond of course i do a lot of collaborations with brant and part of that is to navigate youtube youtube is an ever-changing thing uh, if you follow a lot of channels you've probably heard a hundred times the algorithm you know and all this stuff and part of what we do with, with Brant and myself is trying to push ourselves into that algorithm by collaborating. That's one of the things that just helps. Uh, it just helps with engagement. Uh, we get more, you know, you guys are uh, generally more engaged with those videos. We get more comments. We get more likes. You know, those are the things that you got to play to try to boost your channel and get your channel, you know, promoted in the algorithm. So that's part of it. But big picture here, you know, like what what are we doing? Like why why am I why am I posting videos? What what am I trying to do here? Of course, I want to make a living fishing and uh, be in the fishing industry. But with that, like I want to build a brand, and that's really what we're trying to do here is uh, build build a brand and build a brand that's synonymous with surf fishing. Build a brand that's synonymous with saltwater fishing, and grow that brand and. We're in that process, however long that takes to kind of get to a point where you're like a brand and people recognize it and buy products and services associated with that brand. I don't know, but we're in the process of growing that brand. Along the way, uh, the way that, that I earn income, if you're unaware, I do, of course, earn ad revenue uh, from the advertisements. I'm sure you are, are aware of this on YouTube. Uh, so I make money there. I make money through sponsorships right now. Uh, currently, the sponsors that I have are Fish Bites. 
Uh, they, they pay me monthly to promote their products. Um, of course, I was using Fish Bites long before I was ever sponsored with them. It was just a perfect marriage. It worked. It made sense. Uh, great company. Waterland is another sponsor right now. That's uh, Brant hooked me up with that. I wear their sunglasses, and uh, they've come along and support the channel. And then I'm also working out a sponsorship. I think we've uh, agreed to the terms and everything. Just got to finalize some things uh, recently with CSU, which is an online uh, college. They, they do online learning, so uh, which is kind of different, unique. But these are things that allow me to focus more on content. So uh, as I continue to get more sponsors and as I continue to earn more ad revenue, I can focus more on creating videos and have to spend less time doing other things like guide trips, which I still do guide, not as much. If you tried to book a trip with me this past year, you may have had trouble because I did reduce the amount of trips that I was booking and that will probably continue into next year. I may even reduce it more. So if you are looking to book a trip, you might want to get in there quickly. And on that note, uh, if you send me messages, I do try to get to every one of them, and I do, I just may not be very timely. <laughs> I get a lot of messages. I try to get to everyone that, that, that is sent to me through my website and through my Facebook Messengers app. If you send it through one of those two things, I will respond. It just may not be very timely. Thanks for hanging out with me. Wanted to go over what the channel is about. It's the end of 2020, which has been like the just weirdest dadgum year, and wanted to just take an opportunity to take a breath, talk to you guys because uh, you are really what makes this channel and makes everything go round. Like you guys really are, are the only reason to have any of these opportunities and with what we're trying to do here, what we're trying to accomplish with building a brand, uh, with surf fishing and saltwater fishing, you guys have, have created this opportunity. And you know, I'm being honest with you about where we're going, where we're headed and how we're getting there. And it's just, a, you're, you're along for the ride. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. And it's really cool uh, running into you guys in public. It's really cool getting the messages and comments that I do from you guys. If you follow my personal Facebook page, I post a lot of like the, the mean comments that I get and like my responses to it. And so it seems like I probably get a lot of those, which I do. But 95% of the, the response that I get, like comments and stuff, is positive and that's from you guys and I, I'm just very appreciative of that like that really helps motivate me that really helps keep me positive despite the fact that I do get that five percent negative they're they're allowed five percent but it's it's about only five percent <laughs> of what comments is, is actually negative so I, I'm just very appreciative you guys are so encouraging um, I, I've met a lot of you I really have between running trips and because of the fact that like a lot of you do come to this area and fish the beaches um, I, I've run into several, I mean, just so many people, um, which is, I think is probably a unique thing to this channel in the, that you're able to run into me as much, uh, because you may not, you know, a lot of YouTubers may not see a lot of people that subscribe to their channel, but, but I do. So it's kind of a cool thing. And I, and I've really enjoyed meeting a lot of you and running into a lot of you around town and on the beaches and tackle shops and all that. So you guys are awesome. Wanted to talk to you. Uh, if you're still here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Thanks for sticking with me. But uh, we'll wrap it up. And as always, you.